The following tutorial is designed to help assess chronic respiratory disease using ultrasound. These two necropsy images are examples of what chronic respiratory disease in a cow looks like. An ultrasound is a non-invasive tool to help in a diagnosis and prognosis of respiratory disease. Hello, we're here at the University of Illinois and I'm going to show you how to do an ultrasound on a cow to diagnose respiratory disease. So, why do we use ultrasound to diagnose respiratory disease, you may ask? It's a very quick and easy way. Um, there's lots of ways to diagnose respiratory disease, but this is probably the easiest. Um, out in the field, you might be using a rectal probe um, that's used for doing ultrasounds uh, out on the farm. Uh, this is a little bit more advanced. Um, allows for deeper penetration to the tissues, uh, but just out in the field you might be using a uh, rectal probe instead of this uh, fancy one we got here today. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you where to do a ultrasound, um, where to find the lungs at, and also uh, how to use a probe correctly. So one of the first things that we would like to do is determine our lung field. And to do that, we are going to start uh, with the cranial aspect of the triceps here, where I'm pointing to on this lovely cow here. And then we're also going to determine um, this border right here. And so here is the dorsal uh, aspect of the vertebrae. And what we want to do after we found those two sections is just create an imaginary line between uh, the tips of those. Alright, so in order to do an ultrasound, um, you might want to flip her so you can get a little bit deeper in there. Um, but she's she's got some uh, pretty thin hair, so we're just going to leave her as is. And the second thing you need is some kind of medium in which uh, to do your ultrasound. Um, so ultrasound uses sound waves to penetrate into tissues. All waves need a medium to travel through. So today we're going to use some alcohol. You can use lubricant if you like, um, whichever floats your boat. So we're just going to put some alcohol over the fields of interest. Set that down there. So this is your uh, this is your ultrasound probe. You see this little line here, so you want to hold it like so. Okay, and then this is the other little tip I'm going to give you is that you want to go in between the ribs. You don't want to go on the ribs. Um, you won't get a very good uh, picture here on your ultrasound screen. So you might want to palpate for a rib. The next three slides are going to be ultrasound pictures of a normal looking lung. And so the first part here that you're going to see is the body wall. Just below that is your thoracic wall. And just below that is this line, white line, shimmery white line, called the pleural line. Just below that is your normal lung parenchyma. And so this is what a normal lung looks like. Um, you may say, oh, well, they're streaking here. Well, that is actually normal. So it's very normal to see streaking in a normal lung. This is the second normal lung ultrasound image. And as you can see, here is our pleural line quite nicely and our normal lung parenchyma below. This is the third normal lung ultrasound image. And once again, you see that nice pleural line with the normal lung below. And so what you wanna do is just move all around the lung fields. And you want to know any abnormalities. And uh, my assistant Dave here is going to be explaining a little bit about what those abnormalities mean. To begin the ultrasound exam, examining for pathology, you will put the transducer just cobbled to the point of the shoulder, cobbled to the triceps. Once you get into the intercostal space, you will find the pleural line and begin to scan down looking for pathology. One of the prognostic indicators for the, indi for the uh, animal will be eight inches above the point of the shoulder, or above the elbow, 
it, uh, brings a grave prognosis. You want to maintain visual sight of your pleural line to continue ventrally amongst the animal. Next, I'm going to show you four abnormal lung ultrasound images. This is one of four. So what we see here up, up top here should be our pleural line that we saw earlier. But as you can see, this is distorted. It does not go all the way across. It does not connect. And I don't see any nice shimmery white line here. The next abnormality we see is this hypoechoic region. This hypoechoic region, a fluid-filled region. And this is what we call pleural effusion. Next, we see these hyperechoic, lumpy, bumpy regions. And that is indicative of a abscess. So these are three abnormal findings that we see uh, in this lung right here. This is the second image. Again, we see an abscess, a little bit different, but also looks a little the same uh, as the previous image. We see the lumpy bumpiness coming around here. The next abnormality we see is this thing called a comet tail. Um, and this comet tail is a hyperechoic streaking um, that we'll see in abnormal lung. And this is indicative of uh, some kind of effusion uh, that's happening in the lung. Here is our third image. And again, we see the comet tails looking like comets streaking across the sky somewhat. And again, our distorted pleural line. So this is just another example of what that distorted pleural line looks like in an abnormal lung. And here we have our last fourth image pointing out the distorted pleural line above and the comet tail streaking below. Thank you for watching this ultrasound tutorial from the University of Illinois College of Veterinary Medicine. If you have any questions about this tutorial, please use the link below to contact our leading professor.